this quote, nothing special master, uh, is related very much to his way of teaching, actually. He was a person who was really sharp, very clear and uh, inspiring, very inspiring because he was so simple. He didn't make, you know, a lot of flourish words. He was just sharp, humorous, really wise. And uh, he didn't make up things about his person. So that was something that I really appreciated very much. Not guru style, not at all. Very simple, but clear. So in the first summer when I met him, I followed him to each place where he went. I followed him to Warsaw, I followed him to uh, Slovakia, and I did uh, long retreats. Then back in Berlin, uh, after the retreat here in Berlin, he said, now you, you slow down a little bit. Uh, maybe I was a little bit too enthusiastic. So he saw something and that was another part of him as a teacher. He was also like a father to me. Later, when he gave me the um, uh, authorization to teach, I, uh, we call it Inca. So our relationship again changed. He, uh, he, not that much was, you know, he still was like a caring person, but also much more like a friend. And uh, so as a, as a Zen master, I would say after 20 years, or almost 20 years, I felt him more like a brother, elder brother. So very heartfelt person, very caring person. So maybe just uh, one, one really personal encounter I had with him that was uh, shortly before he died, actually. The last retreat we sat together, the, well, there was one question. Kongan question we work on, and he didn't uh, approve the answer I was giving. So, uh, day after day, I came back and I said, Master, I'm still not really happy with this answer. So, he said, okay, you know, if, if you think you have a better answer, then trust your answer. So, that was his teaching as, as a master. So I was very grateful that especially uh, finally at the end it felt for me uh, very much that he really wanted me to grow. Well, he always wanted that, but I felt like now I am on this level that I can, uh, uh, well, I trusted. I trusted myself. Actually, that was uh, very important. And before that, I always thought, well, that's the master. He has to know, so I will follow him. But I remember that that time we really were kind of uh, uh, struggling for, for a good answer. And that was very important for me. So uh, interesting was that after this retreat, he stayed in my home for uh, overnights and in the evening we did do cooking together. I was just friends, you know, we were standing together at, this, at the stove. He was steering the the noodles and we did do spätzle, you know, the, the, and it was just, just joy. It was, you know, this, my teacher, you know, I'm pretty tall, he was a little smaller and he was fighting with this press and I just loved him. I just loved him at that moment because we were just friends. And uh, yeah, we had a great evening and, you know, hard to believe that three days later he would have gone. So I'm very, very grateful for this, this teaching and uh, that's, uh, I will never forget.